plus 5 is 8. Regardless of how true it is that 5 plus 5 is 10, for you to accept that truth, you first got to humble yourself. Because to accept the truth, that means you got to go against what you've been taught. That's right. And you may have gotten that teacher teaching from your mother, from your father, from your uncle, from your grandfather, from some religion. And when you go against that teaching to accept the truth of the equation or about the matter, going against that teaching also is a admission that I was taught wrong. And that's a hard pill to swallow. Oh, yes. Yeah. Oh, yes. That's why many folks say that man is mean. He's hateful. Look how rude he sounds. Ha, ha, ha. I'm like the old country grandpa. You've been going to church for years. You're like a spoiled child. That's right. Who parents let you do everything you want to do. Give you all the lollipops you want. Give you all the sugar you want. Let you play church. You ain't got to wash your hands. Amen. Run across the couch with your shoes on. Spank your child. Child hit you back. And you say, oh, ain't that cute. That's right. Glory to God, but when that child get in the house of grandma and grandpa, where rules are set, hmm. discipline is set, order is set, now that child is forced to conform. That's right. Because it's no longer in an atmosphere that patronizes its misbehavior. It's no longer in an atmosphere that condone its disrespect. That's right. So now the child's in an atmosphere that is not used to, that demands obedience, respect, and the rule of law. That's right. Oh, red beat to the most God. high God. That's what holiness is. That's right. It demands. To be conformed, right. not to this world. Not to this world. Thank God but be transformed by the renewing of your mind because there's a law now. That's right. And it's the law of God, not the law of Geno Jennings. That's right. So you waste your breath to get mad at me, buddy. <laughs> I didn't write this. I would, on a hot day like this, I would like to be in my swimming trunks. <laughs> That's right. Out there on the beach, laying out there, witnessing the world. Wouldn't you? Oh, yes. I'm pretty sure a day like today, you would like to be somewhere just chilling. Oh, yes. Hey, Amen. With your shorts on and tank top. Hey, Amen. With a nice ice cold daiquiri. <laughs> Wouldn't you? Daiquiri in one hand and a rolled up piece of weed in the other? Am I right? Certainly you would. Oh, nice, or oh, oh, crack a can of ice cold Budweiser. <laughs> or oh, some champagne on the rocks. You would like to do that. I'd like to do it. That's why folk don't want holiness. That's right. Holiness is the representation of God's thinking. Holiness is the representation of God's character. That's right. Holiness is the representation of God's expectation that he have out of the entire human race. Yeah. Holiness doesn't allow the infiltration and the delusion of the thought of men to be mixed That's right. into God's teaching at all. No. When men's ideology and men's philosophy and men's theory try to work its way up and creep up into holiness, holiness crush it. That's right. And drive it out. That's right. That's why when you watch the truth of God, many people are shocked 
and write me by the thousands. I have never seen a religious program that give Bible for everything. I believe that the word of God is good enough, good enough. for everybody and everything That's right. that I don't have to make up nothing. Yes. I don't have to pre-plan no sermon. Never been to Bible college since I've been black, and I've been black for 58 years, and I don't believe I'm going to change any colors. <laughs> so Mississippi, everybody, and I mean everybody, I thank God to have a holy message, and with the holy message, God give us holy results. I'll be embarrassed to be down here in Mississippi or in any other state telling people I've been preaching for 30 and 40 and 50 years and having baptized three people <laughs> in 10 years? Lord. God don't send men to do nothing. No. When God send you, there's a calling, God send not just attached to you, but when he send you, he send you with the mission. That's right. Don't you hear what he told his apostles? Go ye in all the world. In all the world. And preach the gospel. Every creature. Lord, dear God, I feel the thing in me now. Preach it to every creature. Every he that creature. believeth and is baptized shall be shall saved. Be saved he that don't believe it will go to hell. That's it. Hallelujah. So I have a gospel. Hallelujah. I have a gospel. I have a gospel. Hallelujah. That was given to me from God. I didn't get it from the college. I didn't get it from no, no glory to God from no university. Hallelujah. I got it from God. Getting it from God, it make me thunder mm. against the whole world. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. I go in any town, any village, any country in the world by God's permission. I don't care if it's three people. God will give the truth of God more results in one day then mm -hmm. men been preaching in the city th for 60 years. That's right. Why? Because this thing is of God. That's right. I want to crush the tradition of men. That's it. And I want to enforce and reinforce God's tradition. That's As I right. said earlier, many people are afraid of change. Yet they claim they're saved. <laughs> Who ever heard of being born again? And change don't come with it. Mm. I want to say, well, I took a bath. Did you change clothes? No. <laughs> Did you change your underwear? No. <laughs> Had the same underwear on all week long. Why are you bragging you took a bath? <laughs> and the flies are still visiting upon thee. Amen. <laughs> What have God said, if any man be in Christ? He is a new creature. What? He is a new creature. Now, you got to have a teaching to transform you. That's right. I don't care how much you want to be saved. Without teaching that come from God to transform you from what you were to what God wants you to be, then you're held hostage in the stage of ignorant and religious stupidity. That's right. In the midst of being sincere, you're held hostage, ignorant, blind, deaf, dumb, faithful going to a church, loyal working in the church, giving money to support the church just to find out years later the very religion that you're patronizing never exists in the scriptures at all. That's right. I want you to just think of it. Think of it. Go back and check your income taxes. See how much money you gave to support a religion that never exists in the Bible. Think of it, Jackson, Mississippi. You hear me preaching this more over, over there? 
I got people are writing me by thousands, constantly telling me, you make me think deeper than I never thought before. It's not me. It's God that's preaching this in me. That's right. Amen. Yeah, you can't credit me. Many of you are Baptist and Methodist and Presbyterian and Lutheran and Apostolic and Pentecostal and non-denominational, and you have never thought to ask yourself, did God tell me to be these things? These things. And yet you lead and praise service, collecting offering, carrying the bishop briefcase like you a secret agent, <laughs> giving him water like he preached he didn't do nothing. Amen. Directing choirs, singing on a choir, playing organs and drums and guitars. Some of you are deacons and elders and bishops and ministers and little half pint evangelists and a quarter of an inch pastor. That's right. Up preaching trial sermons, feeling like you something because now you a junior elder, something that's equal to a $3 bill. Amen. Think of it. Okay. You've been hoodwinked. Oh, yes. You've been bamboozled. You've been led astray. That's right. And this is being done all in Jesus' name. That's right. You're going to die one day. Yeah. This would make me firm against false prophets. Oh, yes. When God instruct Noah to build an ark, it was for the salvation of the people to escape the judgment of God. Is that the truth? Well, don't you know the purpose of church is supposed to be that the word of God is preached that you might escape the hell fire that's coming, which is the judgment of God. That's right. Church is not designed to make a preacher rich. No. Church is not designed for a preacher to become wealthy as a result of preaching. No. Churches, is that, listen, you want a limousine? Get a job and go to work and buy it. You want a mansion? Fine. Get a job and go to work and buy it. I say, I say, buy it. That's right. Church, supposed to prepare you to meet God. That's it. All right, let's go to work in the Bible. I want you to take, I want you to follow me. And I want to take my time and soak in. I want to listen. I want you to listen good now. In the book of St. Matthew, chapter 15, we'll start reading. You that are watching around the world, follow me in your Bible. That's right. All right, come on, Williams. Matthew, chapter 15, we'll start reading at the fifth verse. What is it? But ye say, whosoever shall say to his father or his mother, it is a gift. Yes. By whatsoever thou mightest be profited by me. Uh -huh. And out and not his father or his mother, he shall be free. Yes. Thus. Jesus said. Thus. Thus. Have ye made the commandment of God. Have you made a commandment? Give chapter and verse again. Matthew chapter 15. We'll start again in verse 5. Thus have ye made the, the commandment, commandment of God. The order of God. The regulations of God. The rules of God. Of the statutes of God. Thus have ye made the commandment of God. Of none effect. Of no good. By your tradition. By your tradition. That's right. Ye hypocrites. You can't leave that part out. No way. Those that hold their tradition above God's commandments, what are they? Ye hypocrites. What? Well did he say. Well did Isaiah. Prophesy of you. Prophesy of you. Saying, this people draweth nigh this unto me with their mouth. Honor me. Or draw nigh to me with their mouth. And honoreth me with their honoreth lips. Honoreth me with their lips. But their heart. But their heart. Is far from me. That's what I want to bring to Jackson. M-I-S-S-I-S-S-I-P-P-I -S -S -I -S -S -I today. <laughs> That's right. Hallelujah. We have a lot of mouth service. Ma That's right. I don't blame no church goer. Yeah. Because if you don't know something, I can't charge you because you are innocent victims of bad teaching. That's right. We all was misled. Oh, yes. Lied to. Yeah. And some of the liars was our relatives. That's true. Our own fathers, That's right. uncles, grandfathers. And because they were family members, we thought it would be godly to help them. Yes. 
Glory to take God and support them. Yes. As if flesh and blood won't lead you wrong. <laughs> That's right. That's why family churches are no good. No good. You need God's church. Amen. God's church is built by the Spirit of God. Yeah. I don't care. You, you desire your family to be saved. Yeah. But uh, my wife is not the first lady. No. And my son is the treasurer. <laughs> and my nephew is the secretary. That's right. Keep all the money in the family. When you're in a church like that, haven't you wake up to the fact yet you're in a family business? Amen. Thus, thus have ye made the commandment of God. Have ye made God commandment. Of none effect. Now hold it. By what? By your tradition. Holding on to your tradition. Your tradition. Preachers holding on to their tradition water down the reality of God's commandments. That's right. What is their tradition? That's right. Regardless that the Bible says repent and be baptized. Get me and hear me. Every one of you. Every one of you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. And ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost for the promises unto you. And unto your children and to them that is afar off, even as many as the Lord our God shall call. That's a commandment. That's right. That's something you got to do. But the tradition of men that yes. the churches hold on to, bow your head. That's right. Raise your hand. Yeah. Accept Christ as your personal Savior. Yes. Join the church. Mm -hmm. Hold the preacher's hand and pray some cheap unscriptural sinner's right. prayer that nobody prayed in the Bible. <laughs> That's right. Nobody. Nobody. It ain't nobody in the Bible prayed it. That's right. Or the preacher is blind to Matthew 20, 19. Yeah. When Jesus said, go ye therefore and teach all nations, baptize them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. And the preacher out of blindness misunderstands it just like the one that thinks five and five is eight. That's right. He misunderstand Matthew 20 and 19 and he takes somebody in water and just repeat what Jesus said, but don't do what Jesus said. That's right. Jesus never told nobody, baptize Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. No. He said, do it in, in the, the name, name. In the name of the Father. Of the Father, and Son, of the and the Holy Ghost. Hear me? And to do it in the name, you got to know the name so you can obey the scripture. And then when I know the name, I don't have to mention the titles. That's right. I call the name. That's right. And I bless the name of Jesus Christ upon creation. That's right. Are you getting what I'm telling you? Thus have you made the commandment yes. of God. Have ye made the commandment of God? God's commandment. Of none effect. Of none effect. By your tradition. God commanded, I suffer not a woman to teach. Nor to use up authority over the man. But to be in silence with all subjection. That's right. That's God's commandment. That's right. That's written in 1 Timothy chapter 2. Verse 11 and 12. And verse 11 and 12. Let the woman learn Let in the woman silence learn with all subjection. And when you hear this right away, the hypocrite said, that's male chauvinism. No, that's inspired scripture. That's right. The Bible said all scriptures are given by the inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine. For doctrine. In other words, the word of God is divinely inspired. Mm -hmm. And nobody wrote anything on their own opinion, on their own accord. No. The word of God says. Let the woman learn in silence with all subjection. Let the woman subjection. learn in silence and be subjection while she's doing it. But I suffer not a, I woman, suffer to not a woman to teach. Nor to your nor to authority over, over the man. But, what? but to be in silence. But to be in silence. For Adam was first formed. Then what? Then Eve. And what happened? And Adam was not deceived. But what happened? But the woman being deceived was in the transgression. Yeah, you hear that? Yeah. They ignored that commandment. That's right. And hold to their tradition, That's right. women bishops, women elders, yeah. women pastors, yeah. women evangelists, yeah. women assistant pastors. They, the Bible says, what? Thus have ye made the commandment of God. Oh, Hallelujah. Lord, take God. We're going to make it more hotter than what it is now. <laughs> Amen. I want you to look at the church you came from, the church that tricked you, the church that lied to you, the church that you've been patronizing, the church that you are minister in, the church that you want to choir in, the church that you play the instrument in, and sees that church lined up with the Bible. That's right. And if that church ain't lined up with the Bible, face the fact, if you stay there, you're going to hell. That's if right. If you leave there, you got a chance to be saved. Amen. Hallelujah. Jesus said what? Thus have ye made the commandment of God. Hallelujah. 
Glory to God. Thus have you made the commandment of God. Have you made God's order. Of none effect. Of none effect. By your tradition. Church tradition. Your tradition. And Holy Ghost tradition. That's right. The Apostle Paul told the church. In the book of 2 Thessalonians chapter 2. Follow me in your Bible. Give chapter and verse again. 2 Thessalonians chapter 2. We're at verse 15. I'm working on the tradition of men right. versus the tradition of God. That's right. Uh -huh. 2 Thessalonians 2 and verse 15. Yes. Therefore, brethren. Therefore, brethren. Stand fast. Hold fast. Stay in it. And hold. Stand fast and hold. Hold the traditions. The traditions. Which ye have been taught. That ye have been taught. Whether by word. Whether by word. Or... Yeah.